As a content creator, it's important that you make it easy for people to find you. It's important that you make it easy for people to consume as much of your content as possible. It's important that you make it easy for people to find you on other social media platforms as well. And it's important to make sure that you're representing yourself in a professional way. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do all of that and we're starting right now. Okay, so the thing that I'm getting ready to show you is put together by Streamlabs. And if you've watched any of my previous Streamlabs videos, you're gonna catch on pretty quick that Streamlabs is doing everything that they can to help creators earn a living from what it is that they love to do. And what I'm getting ready to show you is no different. And as I'm going through it, I'm going to explain to you why certain parts are important and things like that. But the idea here is basically to have one singular place online that consolidates all of your online stuff so that when people come and find you, like let's say potential brands or sponsors, then it basically makes it easy for them to figure out what it is that you're about. And this is something that a lot of content creators have trouble with because typically it's a really complicated thing, but Streamlabs has made it extremely easy. So let's head over to the computer so I can show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about so you don't have to wait any longer. Okay, here we are in front of the computer. The very first thing that I did is I went over to streamlabs.com and I logged into my account there. If you're a live streamer, I'm sure you're probably already a part of Streamlabs. If not, you need to be, so make sure that you head over there and create an account. But once I'm inside of my account, basically I can click on my website right here, okay? And basically when I click on this, it's going to take me into an editor. Now check out how cool this is. So inside of this editor, you can see that I have some predefined things here on the page. Now what we were talking about before with making it easy for people to find you and things like that, right here, Let's say that I embed my live stream here, okay, which I'm going to do. Let's say that I embed my live stream here. Then while people are watching my live stream here on this page that I set up and that I direct people to, they're going to see an option down here to where they can buy my merch, to where they can donate to me directly right here on page, right? So this is going to help anybody that uses this. This is going to help you make more money. Now, in addition to that, this is going to help you grow your followers on other platforms as well, because right next to that, we have this panel over here to where, you know, we have the YouTube account where they can subscribe there. We've got Twitter, Instagram, Discord. So this is going to help me send more people into the Nimanati Discord, which is going to be great. And it's going to help me grow my followings in the other platforms as well, while people are watching me live. So basically they don't have to leave YouTube for it. They don't have to do anything. All they have to do is scroll down and they're gonna see this other stuff where they can donate, buy merch, or they can connect with me on other social media platforms, which is a win all the way around for everybody. So with this, not only are they helping you make more money, but they're helping you get more followers elsewhere, which is a humongous win. If you look over here in the top left, this is something that's really cool also. So if you click on domain, if you watch any of my other videos, you hear me say that it's important to make sure that you get the .com for your channel name. And the reason for that is basically protecting your brand. So one of the things that you can do here is one, just with a couple of clicks, you can get your domain name through Streamlabs, or you can also get an additional name. Let's say that you already have a domain name to where you can just forward, like in this case, how they recommend the watchnicknimmon.live to where you can just click on that and you can go through the process of getting that domain name so that it's live specific. So your live streams, you'd be able to send people to this page, for example. It's also helping you protect your brand and it's also making it easy to get the name so you don't have to go through a long, complicated process in order to do it. So next, in terms of how easy this is to use, let's say over here on the left-hand side, let's say we click on design. Then what, I'm, what I can do as I start scrolling down this is, let's say for example, I'm like, hey, you know, this background would look better if it was like a different color. I wanted to build the colors around my brand. Then in that particular case, I could do that here and all I have to do is just click on it and then I can change the colors. And as soon as I click off, it's done. It's already changed and I don't have to mess with it. It's really easy to set up, which is cool if you don't know how to build websites and things like that because it can get pretty complicated. But through this on the design side, you can make changes to pretty much any aspect of this in terms of how it looks, the colors that you're using, the fonts and things like that so that you can create it where it's on brand. Now, another thing that I want you to see in terms of just how easy this is to use is if you look down here, right? Like I can just click here and I can build out sections based on what it is that I want to put in those sections. So right here, I'm just going to click on the drag a component option here in this box because it's already here. And I'm going to go up here to the contact form because let's say a brand wants to contact you, right? You want to make it easy for them to be able to find you and contact you. So because of that, we've got this right here to where I'm going to click here and I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger so that I can make sure that I fit the form in and then I'm going to close that and then it's done. Right, so it's not a complicated process. It's really, really easy to make it easy for you to make more money, to get more followers. And of course, if somebody wants to contact you to collaborate, somebody wants to contact you to work out some type of deal or something like that, it's easy. 
right? It's that one central location where they can do all of those things for you. Now, if you're a live streamer, this whole thing gets leveled up because here you can also add like your live streaming schedule if you want to where it's going to count down until the next live stream that you do. You can add like your full Twitter feed in here. You can add your Twitch panel, any of that stuff. Now, one thing that I'm going to do with this personally is I'm actually going to take this schedule here and I'm just going to drag it down to this bottom area, right? So I have that schedule taking up that whole span and then I'm going to move the contact form over here. And then in this area, I'm actually going to put some text here. One of the things that you can do here is you can turn this area into a thing where you tell about your channel and what it is that you're doing, the mission that you're on, and those sorts of things. So that if a brand comes here or somebody comes here that wants to collaborate, then you're telling them a little bit about yourself and you're telling them what it is that you have to offer so that they get a little bit of information about you before they actually contact you, which is also a win. Now, another thing that's really cool with this is if you are directing traffic to this or you're wanting to make it easy for people to find you in Google, for example, then they also also have an SEO settings area to where you can go in here. You can upload a favicon, which is basically the little icon that shows up here on your website. Um, and then of course you can, you can optimize your title and your description and your keywords, which are just like YouTube tags when it comes to actually optimizing your website so that people can find you easily in search as well. So you can tell people, Hey, Google me. And then this will actually come up. Now, part of this also is, you know, you might be using like your Gmail account, for example, and you are trying to contact brands through your Gmail account. Now, one thing that this will help you do also is when you do choose your particular domain name, whatever that happens to be for you, whichever one you decide to go with, then you can actually forward any emails that come from this into a specific account. So you can connect this to your Gmail in order to be able to make yourself look a little bit more professional because you have an actual domain name that you're sending your emails from. And another thing that I want to show you inside of the content section that's really cool is you see here where I can add a page or an external link. Let's say that in addition to the monetization that you're doing here, let's say that you also have a Patreon account or let's say that you have something else that you that you sell or that you want people to know about another website, right? Let's say that you just build this as your live streaming area, but you have another website that you want people to be able to go to as well. You can actually add that right here and turn it into a clickable link that will show up right up here in the very top of your navigation panel. Something else that's cool is let's say that you, sometimes you stream to YouTube, sometimes you stream to Twitch, right? One thing that you can do here is you can go into your general settings and you can actually, once you connect your accounts, you can just turn them off and on. So then that way, instead of having to go through a big lengthy process in order to do this, all you have to do is you just click on whichever one you want to be on. And then that's the one that's going to be showing right here in your live stream box, for example. And in the typical fashion of Streamlabs, they've also done something really cool here because I know that, you know, even though this is extremely easy that you might be looking at this thinking like, ah, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I don't know how to actually make everything look right. What if I pick the wrong colors and things like that? Well, just like they do with all of their live streaming options to where inside of Streamlabs OBS, they have the themes built in. They have that same exact thing here for the websites as well. So as an example, if I want to click on the classic, I can just apply that theme and then it's going to give me the classic look that I can build all of my items into. And right now they have a great selection of really nice looking themes to help you get started. So you can represent yourself in the right way, but just like they do inside of Streamlabs OBS, if you're live streaming, you're familiar with that, just like they do inside of Streamlabs OBS, I'm sure they'll be adding more themes to this over time. In my situation, I'm going to go with the night theme just because I like the dark mode of pretty much everything. Okay, so now this is a preview of what it looks like after I've tinkered around with it just a little bit. And you can see right here that if somebody comes to nimenlive.stream, that now, and I did that with one click. I just chose the name, did it with one click. Actually, it was two clicks because I had to confirm that I wanted to use that name. But basically with this, nimenlive.stream and it's ready to go. And then now my website is live right here on the internet. You can actually go to this right now and you're gonna see this page. So what I did is I messed with it a little bit. I added a background image. I changed the opacity here in the background of the actual boxes. I changed up you know, a few of the things. Um, but this is just a really quick thing that, that literally took me I don't know, maybe five minutes to put together. And part of that was actually hunting down that background image. <laughs> but you can see here the where you know, the actual live stream itself, if I was live on Twitch, because this one right now is, collected, is connected to my Twitch account, but basically if I were to be live on Twitch right now, it would be showing right here. And check this out, this is something that's really cool. If I click on this little tab here, boom, it opens up the chat for my Twitch as well. So basically if somebody's watching my live stream here, then they can actually participate in the chat 
just like they would if they were on my Twitch or YouTube channel. This is another thing that Streamlabs has done to help you earn more money, help you get more followers, help you basically secure an online property for yourself so that you can start building your brand and be more professional with being a content creator or a live streamer. Just so you know, this is a paid thing. And inside of the video itself, I'm not gonna say the actual amount because that might change over time and this video is gonna be online forever. So because of that, I'm not gonna give you the exact amount, but I'm gonna put a link down in the description below so you can actually head over to their website and check out all the details for yourself. To learn more about live streaming and Streamlabs and all the stuff that they're doing to help you as a content creator, make sure that you check out this playlist right here. And to learn more about growing your channel, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.